How you going everybody? The following video is uh, a trip that we I did away with a couple of friends for about a week and a half. We've had some interesting experiences. One of the crew got lost for a day and a half, but another prospector by the name of Chris found him, so thanks Chris. Um, I found a bit of gold, uh, only small pieces yet once again nothing of any size but uh, anyway I hope you all enjoy it yeah the weather as you can see I've got all the woolies on uh, the weather's cool off hopefully the flies are all all but gone I hope so anyway and uh, yeah we'll see how it goes should be, should be a good week week and a half Neil. About 0.1. Oh, Better than a fucking poke in the eye with a sharp stick. I don't know if you can see Neil through the scrub over there, but we're just doing the flats near the. Well, the flies think it's pretty cool. Like that moisture, eh? Um, we're just doing the flat near the camp because the other mate's missing, so hopefully he's alright. Right, well, our mate here is still missing, so uh, he's. I'd say he's definitely bushed. Got a bit of a fire going here and some smoke. And if he's handy, he might see it. But uh, yeah, if he's not back in the morning, we'll have to get the coppers in and, and organise a search, which is fucking handy because uh, <laughs> yeah, I'd like to go and find some gold. So that's uh, pretty much put a damper on things. Anyway, I hope he's all right. Well, sun coming up uh, Friday morning, I think it is. And uh, Kim's still missing. He didn't come back last night. So uh, we've got the police organised and they're coming out. And uh, Neil's going to stay at the camp and I'm going to go and look for Kim. I've got a bit of a track to follow sand shoe marks. So uh, hopefully he'll be alright if he's... If he's alive, he would have spent a really cold night because it's bloody really cold. Hopefully he lit a big fire, but uh, anyway, it'll be interesting to see what, what transpires today. Well, Kim was found about two hours ago, two and a half hours ago by another prospector. And uh, he was about, in a straight line, about 10 kilometres from camp and probably 20 kilometres by, by track. Um, I think what had happened is he set his GPS to our old camp which is 10 or 11 kilometres in a straight line so he had a bit of a, bit of a rough night and, and uh, ran out of water and it was quite an experience for him but anyway he's alright Neil's taking him to hospital because uh, the police have to cite him because he's been reported as a missing person but uh, apart from being exhausted and hungry and dehydrated he's all right thank goodness so they're away and uh, I'm back here looking after the flies pity there's not a market for them right guys well I have found a small patch one two three four and uh, I'm just about to dig the I think I'm about to dig the fourth one actually, the fourth one. Um, it's only really small stuff. So what I'm thinking is it's been missed. And the only reason that I'm getting it is because I'm using a 7000. 
that's a, <coughs> that could be a load of bollocks, but that's how I feel anyway. Because I can only just hear the shit at the top. Just. So you can sort of, that's pretty weak now. And we're down two or three inches, so at the top it was just barely barely audible right well I went and got the uh, my bar and pick and decent pick and a shovel and smacked down through the cap a bit and got this so uh, it's only a small one but uh, probably the biggest one I've found so far so I'm um, so quite pleased about that so there's obviously a bit of a patch here somewhere and uh, yeah we'll see how we go the rest of the day right well I found one more piece and I've dumped, dumped, dumped that piece out of the tap so um, we're going quite well uh, I think what I've got here is just it's just um, patch that's been fucking worked pretty well but whoever worked it didn't have the right you know I mean I'm pretty sure it's a 7000 that's making the difference just very weak signals on the top just can barely hear them some of you are probably saying oh yeah you know the the 5,000 would pick that up too. We, you could be quite right, but never owning a, never having owned a 5,000, I wouldn't know. I talked to a professional prospector the other day, and he's got a 7,000, and he said they're brilliant. Don't believe any any of the shit you hear, so. Okay, let's see what we've got here. Hopefully it's another little bit. And it is, I can just see it there. Well, that's very good. That just needs a good clean up. It's got a bit of dirt and shit on it. But yeah, so that's over six or seven pieces, so you know, we're doing alright, so we'll keep going. Check this out. Now, I would say, it's obviously an old boiler, I would say that it used to run a winder for this shaft. That's just a guess, but I would say it's a fairly accurate one. And then in later years, the, uh, the cockies had it pumping water because it's what's left of an old mill here some sort of flotation tanks I don't know what they're joined so yeah I'll just come through a bit of quartz and throw a bit of a creek Amazing what you find here, they're miles away from anywhere. Probably 65, 70 k's from Leonora and the same from Laverton. I 
okay day two and I've been out and I didn't find anything this morning and I just come back and I'm having a bit of breakfast and a cup of tea and yeah so um, anyway this is a message to Heinz you know I mean look at this here we've got some peas and carrots and spuds and a bit of gravy where's the meat do I look like a vegetarian to you put some meat in it God, three or four bucks a can, and you, you know, you call it stew, stew my ass. Get the act together.